since our QA initiative project began in August 2022, we have received the full support of key stakeholders, sourced over 10,000 seedlings and hosted a stakeholder agroforestry workshop where a community charter was developed. Together with women and youth groups, we planted 50% of two of the project's demonstration sites. We have also kick-started the Heritage and Young Hands program. The project to date has benefited over 200 women and 300 men from the Kulu Kulu community, surrounding villages and the broader Singatoka community. Since our Kiwa Initiative project began in July 2022, we have been able to continue our restoration work of the Olipupu A National Park that began in 2016 and has planted more than 30,000 salmon meaty trees and restored around 12 hectares of degraded rainforest. Our target under the Kiwa project is to plant another 10,000 salmon meaty trees. Since our Kiwa initiative project began in September 2002, we have been able to one, review and mapping of LMMAs, two, evaluation of the current management status, three, consultations with stakeholders on the current management plans to avoid duplications, fourth, demarcation of areas and construction of mangrove nurseries, and fifth, the planting of uh, mangrove propagules. The project is in its early stage. We will be able to capture the actual number of community members who have benefited from this project as we progress further into the activity implementations. In Fiji, the main environmental challenges faced by our coastal communities are flooding and coastal erosion. Through the Kiwa Initiative project, we hope to address these issues through construction of nature-based seawalls and establishment of community-based mangrove and vetiva grass nurseries. This Kiwa Initiative project will benefit 1,454 people across the six coastal communities. We look forward to being part of the Kiwa Initiative community. Aloy Lele from Tonga. Since our Kiwa Initiative project began in June 16, 2022, we have been able to conduct a baseline survey to Maungalafa Conservation Site at the island of Lava'o. Conduct a baseline survey to Anohehea, a wetland rehabilitation and conservation site in Haapai Island. Since our Kiwa Initiative project began in August 2022, we've been able to establish a project management structure with the Lake Togano World Heritage Site Association, conduct a project inception workshop with key government representatives and implementing partners, establish about 40 hectares of rodent treatment plots in four villages, provide GPS training to four local rangers, and recruit a consultant who's done a literature review of climatic studies of East Reno. These key achievements have set pace for the implementation of activities for the next period. In turn, these activities have benefited 10 women, 40 men, and four communities. My name is Shan Cruz. I am a Marine Programs Coordinator in the Bean Society. Since our Kiwa Initiative project began in August of 2022, we able to host the community meetings and establish more community engagement, carry out marine ecosystem restoration projects, promote women-led fisheries within local communities. In turn, we have benefited 60 women in two communities and 359 students nationwide. Since our Kiwa Initiative project began in August 2022, we have been able to first engage local leaders and fishers in the conversation about nature-based solutions. Second, conduct seagrass mapping and biodiversity assessment with community support. Third, complete mangrove spaces identification and seedling productions with local community members. In turn, these activities have benefited 213 women and 373 men in two communities. Since our 
Since our key initiative project began in 2022, we have been able to set up the Lamaka Office and Training Facility, carried out capacity building training for the Lamaka Kiwa Initiative Project staff, carried out climate change adaptation awareness trainings to different communities we look after, including church groups, women groups, council of chiefs and school students. In turn, these activities have benefited 585 beneficiaries across eight communities. Thank you.